I'm here today with a life hacks video for the holidays slash Christmas slash winter time. It's all rolled up into one. I hope you guys like these because you seem to love my last life hacks video and it was super fun to film. This is my second time filming this video because I accidentally deleted all of the footage the last time I filmed it, which sucks. I like my outfit a lot better than this one anyways. I just got this beanie and I'm obsessed with it. I love it so much. I wish I could wear it to school, but it just makes me super festive and makes me feel like the holidays and stuff and I love it. I'm not gonna keep rambling though. You guys should comment down below what your favorite life hack from this video was and without further ado, let's get into this. The first one is that you can add tinsel to your tree. So if you've got like a Charlie Brown Christmas tree and it's just looking a little bland and bare, then take some tinsel, which you can actually get at the dollar store for like a dollar and you could just get two or three of them and just wrap it around your tree. And I would actually show you guys my tree doing this, but I actually have a white tree so that wouldn't work very well. And it just makes your tree look fuller without spending a ton of money buying a new tree. So the night before Christmas, I know we all have this tendency to not want to go to sleep because we're just super excited for Santa and all of our gifts the next day and being with our families, watching the Christmas Day Parade and all that stuff. Something that I've done in the past to help me fall asleep, not only on Christmas, but just other days in general, is to get a glass of milk. And I prefer the chocolate milk for this technique. What you do is you just stick it in the microwave for about 30 seconds and it gives you this warm glass of milk. You just drink it before you go to bed. And trust me, it really does help you fall asleep. I don't know what it is, but it is super relaxing and I always fall asleep within like 30 minutes of drinking it. On Christmas Day, whenever we unwrap our presents, we tend to have a bit of a mess where there is just wrapping paper everywhere. It ends up looking like a tornado went through your household and I don't know if your family does this but my parents get so mad when there's wrapping paper everywhere. So something that you can do is to just take a cardboard box and make it pretty big because if you guys have a lot of family members there's gonna be a ton of wrapping paper and all you're gonna do is take the cardboard box and make sure that the top is not covered and you're gonna wrap it all in wrapping paper or just some sort of festive wrapping that you decide on just make it look nice and then on the day of Christmas you can just use that as a garbage can it will prevent a huge mess from happening in your living room and it will save so much time but sadly there comes that time when you must take your Christmas decorations down and I don't know about you but I always get super upset when this hat when you do this sometimes you have this fear that your ornaments are gonna crash into each other and they're gonna break and it's just gonna be super sad you're gonna open up your Christmas ornaments again next year and they're gonna be all broken but a way to prevent this is to just get the red solo cups or just plastic cups in general and put them into a container and you can put individual Christmas ornaments into there and it keeps them super organized and prevents them from breaking. One way to save money for the holidays is I know that a lot of us like to get real trees but they can tend to be super messy and expensive and if you get a fake tree then you end up actually saving money because you don't have to buy a new one every single year. A way to trick people or just fool them into thinking that your tree is real though is to get like some sort of Febreze or air freshener that smells like pine trees and just spray it in your room and around your tree and everyone will think that you have a real tree even though it's fake. Obviously when they go up to it they'll probably notice that it's not real but it will just give that essence of a real tree and just make it feel like Christmas time without breaking the bank. If you are like me, I live in Texas and we don't get snow and it just doesn't feel like Christmas and I hate it so much but something that you could do and it's something super easy is they actually have spray at places like Hobby Lobby and Michaels and Walmart and stuff and it's basically snow spray so what you could do is you could spray your windows with that so it looks like they have snow all over them when in reality they don't and then you know what you can do you can just wipe that all off when the holidays are over and you don't have the mess of snow because I've lived where it snows and that stuff can be a pain in the butt even if it is super pretty I know but that is a super easy way to make it seem a little more festive and Christmassy ish in those places where we just unfortunately do not get snow and this last life hack is something that I think all of you guys will like and I definitely need to use this. So during the holidays, we have this tendency to eat all of the yummy and delicious food. Like you've seen all of the videos on like do-it-yourself treats for the holidays and stuff. My mom's friends tend to bake a lot and give us a lot of stuff and I just cannot help but eat all of it because it's just so delicious. There's just so much yummy food everywhere during the holidays and you can't help but eat it. And so a way to prevent yourself from like gaining weight if you're really worried about that because the holidays tend to be that time where the scale starts to rise a little. So if you want to prevent that, a really simple way to just get in your extra exercise is when you're watching those Christmas movies during the holidays, such as like the 25 Days of Christmas on ABC Family, 
then during the commercial breaks, you could actually be doing little exercises. During one commercial break, you could tell yourself, I'm gonna do 10 push-ups. During another commercial break, you could say, I'm gonna do 30 crunches. Another one, 30 squats. If you just keep doing this during each of the commercials, you're getting in those little bursts of exercise, but overall, you will actually be probably getting maybe 20 to 30 minutes of good exercise in, and you'll also be enjoying it at the same time because you're still watching those awesome Christmas movies. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you guys find all of these helpful. I want to say I love each and every one of you guys so much. I hope you have a blessed holidays and that you get awesome gifts. I promise you, in 2015, I will be making videos like crazy for you guys. I already have ideas of things that I would like to do, and I hope you guys enjoy them. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. The first one. Oh! Smack it in the air. Smack it, smack it in the air. Legs moving tight.